Hello guys, Darko here with another video. We can call this like a video log on HDR picture on modern TVs. So right now in front of me I have UHD Premium Certified Samsung KS7000 series hooked to Panasonic UB900 UHD Blu-ray player. Everything is connected via HDMI cable and I benchmarked different settings to see which one will give me HDR picture, 10-bit signal and white color gamut. Of course, Ultra HD resolution 2160p. And I can tell you it's not as easy as it might seem and actually when I googled these problems I could not really find many topics that discuss this. What, what's going on? Um, so currently I have this Mad Max UHD Blu-ray inside the player and when I click status you see it says HDR high dynamic range meaning that TV and UHD player have shaken their hands and they said okay this place said I can show HDR picture and Blu-ray player said, okay, I will send you HDR signal. So that's okay. But when I check this Mad Max logo, I see that yellow and orange are not really saturated. They're not really like white color gamut, but they seem undersaturated and dull. And actually, when I check few scenes from the movie, I can see this plain and simple. I see that colors actually look less saturated than they look on standard Blu-ray. Meaning that something is not good along the chain. Something in this handshaking process is not working as it should. And let me tell you that I've spent maybe last two hours benchmarking different cables and trying different settings. I will show you what helped me to, to, to solve this, basically in picture mode you will not see that TV is in HDR picture mode based on picture mode names. So they're still movie natural standard dynamic, they're not called movie HDR, natural HDR, etc. But you will see in expert settings that backlight and contrast they are maxed out. So this is a good indication that TV is in HDR mode. But the most important thing here is to set HDMI UHD color to on for input you are using to feed UHD signal. So in this case I engaged it at HDMI 1 and 2 because for HDMI 1 I tried several times I couldn't get HDR and white color gamut at the same time. So then what I did, I basically exchanged one cheap HDMI cable with more expensive Supra cable and then for a second I got this combination but then again when I stopped UHD Blu-ray player and played it again picture was HDR but without white color gamut. So what else is important? Through different combinations you can achieve to have SDR picture with white color gamut, also possible, but of course if you invested in this equipment you want to have both at the same time. So for typical user it will not be so easy to see the difference. This Mad Max Fury Road is a good example. Basically you will see the difference when everything is working correctly. So right now things are not working correctly so let me exchange HDMI cable. Let's see where this will bring us. So now I took different cable and I hope that you see this on the screen. Mad Max logo now looks much, much better. Colors are punchier, uh, deeper, more saturated. So now when I press status on 
Panasonic Blu-ray player, I see that it is still in HDR mode and basically now we have combination we want. Basically, now let's see a few scenes. Yeah, so I think it is pretty clear that now you see this rusty old car and also desert colors are deeper and basically colors are closer to the original content on UHD Blu-ray disc. Now let me just show you settings for the Blu-ray player. So basically in player settings I have video format 4K. 4K output needs to be set like this. Here you see in the description only this option will give you either 444 8-bit or 422 12-bit and basically we know that HDR signal is 10-bit so we cannot go with this option because it will only give you 8-bit picture. 24p output automatic this depending on your home theater configuration can be different and let's see advanced settings color mode also important the safest route I see is to select this component automatic um, and that gave me this UHD picture I wanted. Deep color output automatic, HDR automatic, you can disable HDR if for some reason you don't like it but you still want to experience white color gamut. And remaining settings are basically at default values. And this is it. Let me just run the disk again. If we still have white color gamut and HDR. Okay, so let's see. 4K 24P, that's good. HDR video is playing. But you see, now again we, we lost white color gamut. So incredible, basically. One second ago we, we had everything, now we are again limited to this undersaturated colors, but HDR signal. And you see here that again this rusty car looks pale and also desert sand is not so so saturated so guys as you can see uh, in this particular configuration i have problems i also checked hdmi 2 hdmi 3 4 basically same thing is going on all i can say is be patient try different settings um, and i really hope that manufacturers will work on improving this handshaking issue because to be honest it's much easier to put standard blu-ray disc and you will actually see uh, in this case more colors and you won't even have to bother with this combination if you have HDR or not if you have more colors or not the problem is now you have less colors than you should have so I really hope manufacturers will correct this and make this whole experience better and easier for the user. Thank you for watching. Of course, many questions will come on this topic, I'm pretty sure. So let me know what you think, what is your experience and I'll try to test as many combinations as I can and keep you posted. Bye!